High Performing Arts students, my name is Sean and I work for ISSA, a non-profit study abroad organisation. I'm here to assure you that performing arts students do go abroad and you should too. There are lots of reasons to go abroad, from learning a language to exploring a different culture to getting a fresh perspective on your academic major and even just to spend time in some place totally different from where you normally live. But there's another important reason for performing arts students to go abroad. Performing arts is overwhelmingly influenced by cultural context and a new perspective will be beneficial to your craft. Students who pursue a performing arts career have the potential to work across genres and perform pieces from different cultures and locations from the local to the global. The global perspective you gain through an undergraduate study abroad experience will help you adapt to any new setting your performance art career takes you. Now that I've briefly talked about why you should go abroad, Here's a heads up about what else I'll cover in this webcast. I'll cover the types of performing arts disciplines we offer, how you find performing arts classes abroad, examples of other programs, and how you can get more information. Let's jump in. So, what performing arts majors can do with the programs? Well, the exciting answer is that all of them can. If there has programs all around the world at excellent host institutions with performing arts majors in both English-speaking and non-English-speaking countries, you choose the destination. You can take performing arts classes like dance that are specific to the country like Māori Kapahaka or performance in Auckland, New Zealand, Irish dancing in Limerick, Ireland, or classical Indian dance in Varanasi, India. You can take these major requirements alongside general education requirements. On the ESSA website, you can find a searchable course database called Chart, where you can log in and search for classes offered abroad and taken by recent IFSA students. You can search for classes by title or academic discipline, or even just do a search to see what types of classes are commonly offered on specific study abroad programs. There are thousands of listings to explore. And if you cannot find what you need, you can submit a request in the system and this is staff will look for classes on our programs and let you know if there are options for you. The IFSA Professional Program Advisors are also a wonderful resource and they work closely with all students who apply to our programs. One other thing to keep in mind is that with IFSA you can take advantage of extra experiential learning options while you're abroad. Many students will replace an elective class with a credit bearing research experience or an internship in order to further boost their resume while abroad. Now I'm going to switch gears and show you example programs in different regions of the world that are great for performing arts students. I'm going to highlight some interesting options for performing arts students. If there is a particular city, country or region of the world you are interested in, then get in touch with IFSA and we can find the right fit. In Latin America, you will need some Spanish language to enrol at our IFSA partner institution but you'll have the opportunity to study alongside students from Argentina or Costa Rica and really broaden your future opportunities across all performance genres. Linux Series is the location for you if you're looking for a large cosmopolitan city experience with fascinating social and economic dynamics, where you can mix and match classes depending on your academic and professional goals. Or consider Costa Rica, known for its diverse scenery, political stability and friendly people. Our program is based in Heredia, a bustling suburb of San Jose filled with small neighbourhoods, restaurants, plazas and universities. Theatre in the United Kingdom is steeped in rich tradition and history. We have many options for studying performing arts in London, but throughout the London flagship, you have the opportunity to study performing arts and social change combined with your own directed research and internship or for a competitive price point and renowned IFSA extracurricular programming and support. Or you can choose to study at one of our many UK direct enrol partners in England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland who offer subjects across the full spectrum of performing arts. If you head across the channel to Ireland, you will find some fantastic offerings in theatre, dance and music at some of the top ranking institutions in Europe, from traditional Irish music to the scientific aspects of movement. Moving to the Asia-Pacific region now, in India, study the complex intersection of the city, river and sacred that define Varanasi. Immerse yourself in daily life by studying Hindi or Urdu language, living with a host family and learning an Indian form of dance, music or artisan trade. 
Australia and New Zealand also have a whole host of performing arts options with a number of IFSNIP partner institutions. We have just highlighted the programs at the universities in the two largest cities of Sydney in Australia and Auckland in New Zealand, who due to their population size have a wide array of live performance options to enjoy outside of the classroom. Take courses in Indigenous music and dance to really contextualise your study abroad experience. Or choose a course that is all about the 21st century like digital music or music production in the state of the art studio spaces. Now that you're interested in going abroad, what should you do next? To see details about the programs I highlighted and also explore other opportunities, visit the FC website. You can see program details, scholarship information and use our great search tool called Global Wayfinder. Global Wayfinder lets you search for programs by criteria like academic majors, program semester and location. It also lets you narrow things down further by available activities and day-to-day -day living experiences, such as hobbies you'd like to explore while abroad. You can even search for programs with career stepping stones if you'd like to find a program that allows you to pursue an internship or research as part of your time abroad. As I mentioned before, you should definitely go on the IFSA website and use our chart searchable course database to explore the classes you might take while on an IFSA program. In the system, you can access class descriptions and sometimes syllabi, which will be great to show your academic department as you prepare to go abroad. Lastly, if you haven't already done so, check out your home campus study abroad website so you can learn the policies and application process to go abroad. It is especially important to talk with them about the IFSA programs that your campus uses. Some universities and colleges send their students on all IFSA programs, and some pick and choose which IFSA programs they prefer the students attend. Now is also a great time to contact your academic advisor to let them know that you want to include a study abroad program in your degree plan. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on an IFSA program.